Now, 200 years ago to this very day, the world's first municipal fire service was founded in Edinburgh after two devastating fires in the city. Before then, it was insurance companies who were paid to put out the flames by homeowners who could afford it. Well, to mark this anniversary, some special events are going to be held by firefighters across the UK today, as our Scotland correspondent Katrina Renton reports. Scotland's Fire and Rescue Service in training. In this exercise, they're simulating rescuing a person from a tall building. Every day, developing their skills to respond to new challenges. It's something they've been doing for the last two centuries, since the first municipal fire service in the world was formed here in Edinburgh. It has evolved in many ways, but the founding principles remain the same. It all started with this man, James Braidwood, who became known as the father of modern fire services. Diana, we're standing here at the statue to your great, great, great grandfather. Tell me how proud you are to be here today. Well, he was the most amazing human being, um, very courageous, very caring, and obviously somebody with a great vision, a man ahead of his time. If you think of what he started and how he put in place a modern fire service that spread around the world, he is responsible for saving countless millions of lives. So I think that deserves recognition. So he should be a household name? He should be a household name. He was at the helm when the city authorities set up the Edinburgh Fire Engine establishment after two large fires in the city. Just a few weeks later, they were put to the test. The Great Fire of Edinburgh broke out in this medieval alleyway just off the high street. The fire raged for days. 13 people died and hundreds were made homeless. Plans to create a modern, efficient fire brigade were sped up. At the Museum of Scottish Fire Heritage in Edinburgh, the brigade's history is preserved forever. Kelly McMeekin is the manager. So what we're looking at here is a book written by James Braidwood, which is called On the Construction of Fire Appliances. This is essentially the guide on how to set up a fire service. Um, and, you know, I can look back at this now and still see correlations with what happens today. It's, it's so interesting and it's great to actually get his thoughts as well. Here is a quick response by a Victorian London Fire Brigade. Over the last 200 years, James Braidwood's principles have been embedded in the fire service. It's a job for specialists, the fire brigade. He prioritised training, teamwork and a chain of command. His model underpins how fire brigades operate all over the UK and the world. It's amazing to think that the first municipal fire uh, brigade was created within Scotland here in Edinburgh 200 years ago. Those pioneers back 200 years ago have really laid the foundations for the modern fire and rescue service that we are today. From the first organised uh, fire brigade, dedicated um, appliances and equipment, training was really important for them just as it is today, um, and also um, fire prevention as well. Officers from all over the UK will attend a service today to commemorate the bicentenary, remembering their proud history and celebrating the future of their vacation. Katrina Renton, BBC News, Edinburgh.